Hi everyone, Dave here. In this video, I will show the details for a DIY solar-powered pedestal fan that I built. Like many appliances in my workshop, this fan is directly powered by PVDC solar panels. I have power sockets located around the shop to feed any compatible appliances. Even the workbenches are lit up with direct solar panel fed LED lights. If you want to learn more about the PV to wall and PV to load concepts and DIY appliances, there are video links in the description. It's been getting pretty hot here in my workshop during the summer. The outer part of my workshop only has a 5000 B2 air conditioner, so it gets pretty hot. But the inner part of the workshop, I call it a cabin, has no air conditioning at all. This motivated me to dust off one of my old solar fan projects and get it finished. I literally built this fan around a block of leftover scrap wood. The block of wood mounts the motor, stand, and housing. To build this fan, I started by completely disassembling the housing and removing the AC motor. The new DC motor needs to have an 8mm shaft with a pin in it as shown. Probably other motors would work, but I like this one. The specific motor I use is a 12 volt 30 watt motor rated at 3000 RPMs. It turned out to be more than adequate. In case you want to try taking on a fan project, I do recommend this particular motor because it comes with this L bracket. And this bracket is very useful and handy for mounting the motor. Here's an example of the type of motor that I recommend. And this is what I used in my fan, except that the motor I used specifically had a threaded portion right about here. This motor doesn't have a threaded shaft. It does, however, have the location for a pin, which is right there. And that pin is what the fan blade rests on. So you push the fan blade down here. I just stuck an old rusty uh, nail right through here. I didn't have a pin. And I rested the fan blade on that. And then I threaded the nut and the washer on the top. Basically, you need to use this bracket because... The original fan is built around the actual motor, whereas when you take that motor out, the AC motor, there's nothing to build the fan around. So that's why I use a block of wood in this bracket, and using those two things, you can actually build the entire fan around the block of wood with the motor sitting on top. There's the specifications of the motor. This specific motor can actually run at 24 volts, but I will probably never do that. I don't need 7,000 RPMs. 1,000 to 3,000 RPMs is pretty decent for a fan motor, and even 1,000 RPM is going to move some air. Just in case you can't find it, I will put a link to the motor I use in the description. And just to be clear, even if you don't have this type of motor, as long as it has an 8mm shaft, you can probably make it work. Most fans that i found that are table fans or pedestal fans have an 8mm shaft. I'm sure there are exceptions, but every fan I've opened so far has an 8mm shaft. I built the entire fan around this scrap piece of wood. And I attached the front of the housing, which is right here. It's this part right here. And I attached that to the front of this block of wood. You can see that the front housing, which is this part here, is attached to the back of the housing with two screws. And then that is also further attached to the side of the block of wood with two more screws. Once I did that, I could then hold this housing together. And the next thing I did is I took one of these parts here and I attached that to the bottom of the block of wood. And then I used that with a screw to attach this mount here that came with the fan. And of course it doesn't oscillate anymore but I don't need it to oscillate. I actually don't like oscillating fans. I prefer them just to stay in one spot. I did, however, retain the adjustment, so it can still adjust just like the original fan, and that's very useful. On the back is a simple PWM speed controller, motor speed controller. I believe this is a 10 amp. It doesn't really matter. Any kind of PWM will work. You could also use a DC converter. This was available, so I just put it on there. I mounted it on the back of the fan housing and there isn't really a lot of room inside the fan housing anyway and this way I can have access to it and maybe swap it out for something else. You could also use a DC to DC converter if you wanted to. There's no reason why you have to use a PWM controller. What I like about this is it's simple and cheap and I just put it on there and it worked. It's very convenient. Now regarding the blade, I'm going to take the fan apart. The fan blade is mounted on the 8mm shaft using a nut and a washer. You can see there's additional screws here that I used to mount this round cage onto the front of the fan housing and to hold everything in place. This is all plastic and very easy to work with. So if you need to drill a hole, it's pretty easy to do. I also had to balance the blade, so that's why there's a metal weight attached. Some of these blades don't balance very well. Once you have the fan housing mounted on this block of wood with the motor inside, and you have the fan mount that was included on the bottom of the block of wood, all you really have to do is put it on the pedestal mount and try it out. 
and you will then be able to feed this fan a direct DC input. To power the fan I'm using a 2.1 millimeter plug on the end of the original cord that came with the fan and it works just fine. This type of arrangement can actually take anywhere from 10 to maybe 20 volts of DC input and that's why I just plug it straight into the wall at my workbench or wherever I have DC PV to wall outputs. It just works. It puts out a ton of air. It's relatively quiet. I really like this fan. It works very well. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This fan can run all day. We're using very little power. It's very quiet. And I just plug it right into my wall here. Right there. And even at 13 volts, this thing will run just fine. It's pretty early right now, so there's not much voltage, but this fan will still work. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Works very well.